Hello fellas, we are looking at a big pile of games here because we're looking at another video, another collection video and this is based on the Nintendo Wii but as a bonus I've also added the Nintendo GameCube collection over there <clears throat> because the GameCube games are compatible on the on the Wii console apparently so so I'm going to go through the whole lineup of the Wii games I have and the GameCube games I have. But I'll start off with the GameCube first. Well, first up, I got this little GameCube preview desk, which um, I play on my, which plays on the computer. Yeah, which is a little, it's just a little preview desk showing the games, showing off the launch titles, and in alphabetical order, I got. Beyblade V-Force, Super Tournament Battle. It was a Beyblade game. Didn't mind it back then, but it's terrible. <clears throat> this has been the PS1 version. Crazy Taxi. <clears throat> mm, Sonic Heroes, which is, an, which is a very addicting platformer. Very pretty, pretty popular as well. Definitely the version of it I recommend getting. Soul Calibur 2, which I got pre-owned for 5 quid. Not bad. And this version of the game has a link in it. Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is one of the most popular GameCube titles ever played. Tales of Symphonia. <clears throat> one, of the, one of the greatest RPGs ever ever to be graced on Nintendo's GameCube platform. And Time Splitters 2. <clears throat> this is an addicting and a hilarious first person shoot em up game. Alright, let's put them aside. Now it's time for the Wii games. Start off with Wii Sports, <clears throat> which which is a game that comes with every single Wii console. Very addictive little um, fun sport games you play with your friends for a few mom moments. Big Brain Academy or Big Brain Re Degree in America. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex Edition, excellent port. Call of Duty World of War, which is an excellent ver conversion. Likes the zombies mode, don't mind. Ghost Squad, fun game, but it's over too short. GoldenEye 007 with Daniel Craig as Bond, impressive remake. Mm. GT Pro Series. There's crossbow training, which comes with a zapper. Mad Dog McCree Gunslinger pack, which is not bad, I guess, for first run. Yeah, it's kind of silly. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, <clears throat> which is, which first impression, it's not a bad idea to bring the two, two of my iconic mascots, but it's very, but it's a very flawed game. It's a very flawed mini game collection. Oh well. Mario Party 8, which is excellent. Metroid of M. Personally, I don't get what's the big deal against Samus's voice. I actually like I actually like Samus's voice and the way she narrates the story. It's pretty good. I don't mind it. It's pretty good. Metroid Prime Trilogy, which combines Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. It's excellent. Monster Hunter Free Try, <clears throat> which is great. Just I haven't been able to get myself addicted to it. No More Heroes, the European version is censored, but I actually like it that way. Just for my, just for my sake though. <clears throat> Pandora's Tower, which is the third game in the Operation Rainfall titles. Very great game, we're only up to the third tower though. Rayman Raving Rabbids, which is an excellent uh, party mini games. I like the Unreal stages the most though. Rayman Raving Rabbids 2. Mini games are not as fun as the original, but the Lycan stages do make it stand out a little bit better. Red Steel. Uh, a bit of a disappointing first impression. A disappointing um, reception. But still, it made a good first impression though. 
Red Steel 2, which is an exact improvement over the first, I'll say. Especially with the Mii Motion Plus, which I'll get to in a moment. Resident Evil 4, which is which is the same as the GameCube game, but the controls are a lot better. It's just, there it is no doubt a lot of fun to play. Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles, which is a great Unreal shoot 'em up game in the, Res in the Resident Evil universe. SNK Class RK Classics Volume 1, which is a brilliant deal if you want if you want to sit if you value your money seriously get this and seriously get this game it's better than wasting um dozens of Wii points in the Wii in the Wii shop Sonic and the Black Knights which is which to me it's an, imp an improvement over Secret Rings it was a it's a very well get to in a minute Sonic and the Secret Rings which I'll I'll, I'll admit it's better than the 2006 Sonic game but the controls can be very frustrating to get used to. Sonic Unleashed, which is actually, I will say, is actually better than most other Sonic games that's out there. The Wii, the Wii and PlayStation 2 versions are probably the best version of Sonic Unleashed, in my opinion. At least I can only say that because I haven't got the 360 or PS3 version. <clears throat> Soul Calibur Legends, which is an extremely terrible action game. My only, my only reason of picking this game up is because Lloyd Irving from Tales of Symphonia was included in this game. If he wasn't included in the game, I would have just ignored it completely. Super Mario Galaxy, which is an excellent platformer, but I hardly got myself into the game. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which is a brilliant beat-em-up game on the Wii. Bit, I had a lot of fun with this, playing with my nephews with it. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, which is uh, not as good as the original game, but still as an RPG, it's decent for what it has, for what it offers. The Conduit. Great, good first impression, but the, its overall reception isn't, <clears throat> isn't what I was hoping for it to be. I'm really disappointed in, con in Conduit's um, cliffhanger ending. And as you're saying, the second one ended on the cliffhanger ending as well. The House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return. It's an excellent and compilation for what it features. The two games together, and there's plenty of nostalgia involved. I really like those two games. I could see myself going back and forth playing the two games again. My Warrior Wear Smooth Moves, which is a very addictive minigame compilation. Probably the best one in my opinion. We play, which um, which is another compilation, but it comes with a free Wii remote, which is excellent if you want um, another Wii remote to, to use. And I really like all the mini games that's on there. <clears throat> Wii Sports Result, which comes with the Motion Plus accessory. It's very, it's got some great amount of mini games that's on there, and it's definitely worth checking out. Definitely what the Wii should have been able to do in the first place. And lastly, but not least, I say the best for last, Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh yeah, the first game of the Operation Rainfall se series. And this, and this is a surprise, millions of gamers wanted this game. And for good reason. It's got, it's got a great storyline, enjoyable characters, an addictive battle system, and dozens and dozens of quests to do. It's absolutely, a, it's absolutely an, an achievement over most of a... The RPGs, considering most of them are kind of not getting the localizations, and Square Enix is absolutely just taking a piss against the fans with Final Fantasy. So, that's all my Wii slash Nintendo GameCube games. Hope you enjoyed having a look at them. Let's show you these games one more time, and hope you guys enjoyed um, having a look at my, my game collection. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you all next time.